वेलकम टू प्रोग्रामिंग नॉलेज सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट ग्रिड व्यू एंड फ्लटर सो ग्रिड व्यू इज नथिंग बट अ स्क्रोलेबल टू डी एरे ऑफ विडजेट्स सो लेट्स डायरेक्टली जम्प इन टू द कोड सो वी डोंट नीड दिस टेक्सट कंट्रोलर इन इट स्टेट एंड डिस्पोज फॉर नाउ वी नीदर नीड दिस बॉडी और द फ्लोटिंग एक्शन बटन okay so now let's start creating a grid view so the widget name is grid view now there are uh, two many parameters in the grid view we will discuss only which are important and which are mostly used okay and if you want to know about all the other parameters you can of course refer to the documentation Okay, so the first parameter is uh, scroll direction. It is very similar to the one we had in list view. It uh, takes a value from an axis enum, okay, and it uh, defines whether the list will be scrollable in horizontal direction or in vertical direction. By default, its value is vertical. Okay, then after that, the next thing that we should know is reverse. So. this is a boolean value if we give it true if we give the value true then the list from which the grid view is generated will be reversed and if we give it as false then the list will not be reversed by default the value of reverse is false so let's try giving it true and we will see what is the output okay now the next thing is controller okay so the uh, the controller in grid view takes a widget of type scroll controller so let's create a scroll controller now scroll controller is uh, stored as a state variable and it is used when the state rebuilds that means when the set state method is called then flutter internally uses this uh, scroll controller to get the position of user in that list view in that grid view okay so suppose if we are viewing a grid view and we are at the 100th uh, row or the column okay so then that position is stored in scroll controller and now if internally due to some background actions uh, set state is called the build method is re-rendered then instead of instead of uh, going back at the starting of the grid view the user will remain at that 100th column or row of the grid view okay so that is what uh, scroll controller is mainly used for and it comes with some parameters okay and that is initial offset value initial scroll offset so by this we can define the offset that will already be on the left side or the top side of the scrollable grid view okay that means uh, if the grid view would start from 0.0 0, 0, axis and if we set the initial scroll offset to 20 then if our scroll direction is vertical then it will start from 0, 20 if our scroll direction is axis uh, dot horizontal then it will start from 20 comma 0 so i hope you are understanding what i am trying to say some part the part that we define over here in initial scroll offset will be left out will already be considered as scrolled okay so that is what initial scroll offset is used for and another thing is keep scroll offset that means to tell the system to use that scroll offset uh, defined by the programmer or the developer okay so this was about controller now the next thing which is rather a very important thing is physics so physics takes a widget of scroll physics okay so now this uh, scroll physics is not uh, used that much but everyone should know what this scroll physics is for what this for scroll physics is used when is this used okay so it is used to, to determine how a scrollable widget will behave when the user reaches the maximum scroll extent 
or when the user stops scrolling okay means the action the reaction to every user action is defined in this scroll physics now the normal fee normal uh, reactions that we see that if we stop scrolling the list stops if we click on it it gets selected so all those are predefined and we don't need to do anything and if we want we can change those okay so the next thing that we have is padding and then as we know padding takes an edge inserts a geometry value so let's give it a padding edge inserts geometry dot all edge inserts dot all i am sorry edge inserts dot all 10.0 okay so now the next uh, thing is uh, one of the most important thing in grid view and that is grid delegate okay so a delegate that controls the layout of the children within the grid view okay so grid delegate now there are uh, many types of delegate the most commonly used uh, delegate type is sliver grid delegate with fixed axis count okay so don't get confused this is a single widget name okay so let's start typing sliver grid delegate with fixed axis count okay so now this means that our uh, cross axis will be fixed so now over here it takes a few things the first one is cross axis count so let's say i want a column of a row of three values a row should have three values so i'll write three then after that we have a child aspect ratio so over here we define what will be the aspect ratio of every child by default it is 1.0 we can change it let's say or 1.0 seems fine if you want to change something you can okay so i'll remove this child aspect ratio now the next thing that we have is cross axis spacing and main ax main axis spacing so this will this is used to define the spacing between each uh, item cross axis spacing for the column wise for column wise and uh, main axis spacing for row wise okay so i hope all these things are clear and then another important thing or the rather the necessary thing is children means what we will show inside the grid view okay so now to display something first let's create a simple list a list of type integers call is call it dummy and it has a few values it has eight values okay so now over here we will again use the map method so dummy dot map dot to list and now over here i want to return a container okay of uh, i'm sorry container of uh, height 100.0 width 100.0 color should be colors dot red alignment should be alignment dot center that means the child should be in the center of this container and the child is nothing but e okay so i'm sorry e should be inside a text and then i'll use a string interpolation which is better than using two string because we have more accessibility we can add more things in the string and all the stuff so let's format this save this see if we have some errors so now since we don't have any error we should be able to see all the values so now since uh, the first thing that i would like to mention is that since we have written reverse as true then the first value one is starting in the last row so i hope you get my point it is not the last item but in the last row so this is a very clear confusion please don't get confused okay now let's try adding some spacing 
main axis spacing can be 20.0 so we have the spacing over there now cross axis spacing can be 20.0 again and that also so we will get some spacing over here now uh, we need to know why is this grid view at the bottom okay, so let's try surrounding it with a column maybe this column brings everything to the top okay, so that will not work okay maybe if we remove this reverse then it should go at the top because the general practice the general behavior of flutter is to start from top and yes so uh, as you saw and i also learned a new thing here if we use reverse then it also reverses the alignment it also reverses the position means instead of starting from top it starts from bottom instead of being yeah, start aligned it is end aligned so these are a few things that we learned today and i hope the concept of grid view is clear thank you